All right. Let's have a look at this incredible uh, camera. This is uh, the SJ7 Star SJ from SJ Cam. Um, and uh, we'll have a look first at the outside and uh, have a walk around it. <laughs> so on top, now first of all you can see the whole around is made of aluminium or aluminum in America. Uh, one thing we have to be saying though is the battery door is not aluminum, it's actually um, plastic, painted plastic. So be careful with that, it's also very flimsy. You know, it has a spring and everything, you can pull the battery out, but it's actually like kind of like with a little inch, uh, something to be under, like be careful about. Uh, also, on top you can see the shutter button, you can see the speaker. Uh, on this side there is nothing, just some writing. It's fact is 4K and it's Wi-Fi. And um, the front is plastic, it has two buttons and two LEDs. One of the LEDs indicates uh, that it's on and the other LED indicates it when the Wi-Fi is on. And it, both of them, they will start to flash when they work. So if it's recording, this one will flash. This button is for uh, actually uh, changing all the resolutions and all the settings once it is in this enclosure. Because if you are underwater, it will be very difficult to use the, the screen. <laughs> uh, so that's it. Um, on this side, um, there is a mini USB, an HDMI and a micro SD port. I already spoke uh, extensively about the mini USB because it accepts an FPV cable, it accepts uh, an outside microphone and it's actually uh, also um, the port for charging it and everything else practically. Uh, you can also transfer file through it and everything. Um, nice touch is this <laughs> nice silicone based uh, lens cap. It's great because well, for example now I'm handling it I could leave all my greasy fingers on it and by putting this in actually I don't have any problem with it. Especially if you are at the field and you want to use it get my greasy fingers out of this. This is uh, the screen um, the initial screen there you go, so you can see a bit better. Um, I will not go through all the writing, but I could tell you on it that you can have all the information you need. You need to know, like if it's uh, video recording or photo shooting, you can take photos, uh, what kind of resolution has it got, uh, what kind of frame per second has it got. Um, uh, how is it called? It's called video quality. Uh, if it's fine, the video quality is uh, fine, super fine and normal. So it's also say there. And how wide is the angle of uh, the actual uh, lenses? If the Wi Fi is on, the microphone, the battery, everything is in here. Um, the menus are in three parts. Uh, you either switch down and you get this menu, which is like practically a player for video or photos, a connection for the tool that you use as a watch to use the camera in Wi Fi, and the Wi Fi itself. If you switch it on the other direction, you get capture, self timer, photo burst. You can actually set it directly for this thing. I'll set it for record. Um, the rest of the menu it's incredible. Uh, on the video recorder you get, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you get all these video resolutions. There is about probably 25, I don't know, <laughs> it's like enormous and it has super view which is also the same thing which is uh, on uh, the GoPro which means it actually uses the whole totality of the length so you see way before and use the totality of the actual um, sensor so it, it, it comes like to a very big uh, software uh, created uh, but a very big um, kind of like 
footage <laughs> like uh, frame uh, coming back uh, you got also video quality field of view you got gyro you can set everything you can actually uh, use it as a car dash uh, video recorder you can record in a loop you can get your ISO of your EV value um, fixed up if you go in the settings you get like also the button for setting up for FPV delay off auto shut down I mean like it, it, you could pass a good 20 minutes actually to um, trying to see this menu let's see if I can focus it for you and it's all well defined and very easy to access you can access it also through this button if you don't have a way to touch the back screen and that's practically it let me turn it off and that's practically it um, you turn it off and uh, that is uh, the totality of the thing of the camera the outside and its uh, videos uh, software uh, one thing it's worth of mention if you do use this camera for FPV this enclosure is fantastic you can use it uh, it's kind of a bit difficult to, to fit but once you have it on you can use it this way so you can attach it this way or it has the same thing over here so you can attach it this other way it has the same actual uh, um, holes over here and over here so you can attach it in both ways and it has the same exit here so you can uh, for example when it's on my um, multi rotor I can set it all up easily and tilt it down but it will do good also on a gimbal I'm sure alright let's summarize the whole thing alright there you have it this is the review on the whole SJ Cam SJ7 Star. Um, just so we can, uh, uh, like you know, summarize the whole thing. Pros, uh, it has all the pros in the world, <laughs> in, my, in my view. Because as an RCA enthusiast, uh, this is the camera for me. It does 4K. It has an FPV cable. It has an FPV menu to actuate so it's like uh, recording at the same time it does 4k at the proper rate which is like direct and not interpolated it's at 30 fps uh, which uh, with a good gimbal you can probably get away also if uh, if you fly a multi-rotor if you want to build a multi-rotor for it uh, it does have a stabilizing at uh, 180p 60 so it means you have an hd stabilized uh, with gyro which works and um, yeah I mean the image as we've seen here are fantastic cons uh, two things uh, the shutter is sometimes not working really well you have to be very well the shutter button actually you have to be very careful that you actually start the recording and stop the recording while you do that because while you're using it because sometimes I do press it and it doesn't start it does do nothing or I press it for a long time and nothing happens so it looks like there is some kind of safety or I don't know what it is something I'll, f I'll find out and let you know if it's needed, needed and wanted um, another con is the gyro that doesn't work at uh, several resolutions I don't know still now after like almost a month I had this uh, where which resolution are where <laughs> the gyro works I know it works at 180p uh, at 60 frames per second but I don't know about anything else so probably there is something to do with the frame rate and something to do with the actual uh, if it's 69 or if it's 30 or whatever it is like it has something to do with that and I will 
find out later on on that. But for me, it's a con because you always have to look at which resolution you have to, you could use in order to use a gyro. I mean, it's just like, mm, come on, a gyro works or doesn't work. Um, last but not least is just like uh, I will say, maybe is even too much overdone on the on the actual menus. You got three different menus. You got like a way of changing the menus in one way, way of changing the menus in another one. Sometimes you want to take off certain things and they don't work. <laughs> uh, I actually had uh, difficulties on like, a, the, like a, disinstalling it or uh, I mean putting the camera back together from a time lapse. I shoot a time lapse and then all of a sudden I didn't know how to get it back to its uh, previous uh, settings so I had to do a, like an hard reset on it which is well okay something you can do but you know you should be able to do it easily so the menu is a big cover overdone over complicated like uh, in many Chinese things uh, they have a very um, sophisticated viewpoint about uh, a usage so it could be done a bit more easily otherwise uh, all this is outweighed by the quality, the great technology behind it, the great sensor, the um, the great chipset, the umbrella chipset, and the great lenses, which are also working well. Uh, I hope you like this uh, review. It's a bit long, but hey, it's a big product. I don't know what to say. <laughs> there is a lot to say about it. Uh, I hope you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, even if you don't like it. <laughs> there could be more videos that you like and if they have any questions you can put them all up below here and I will be very happy to answer them. Meanwhile, blue sky to everybody, good luck to everyone.